Hello everyone, this is Aida here and I'm recording a step-by-step -step tutorial for you. Uh, I have created a special Christmas kit which is a mega bundle and great deal for you to buy uh, with a great price you receive tons of products and today I would like to show you how to create two frames with the products uh, which are included in the kit so whenever you buy the kit you can start creating and uh, we will start with two frames but I will make sure to make some more projects uh, for you in the future so we have two frames today one is 18 by 18 centimeters and the other one is 10 by 10 so uh, you can have the same uh, kind of uh, frames or you can purchase some other sizes uh, but basically the techniques are the same we start by uh, gluing the paper uh, to the frame and then we have to prime the paper with clear gesso I have prepared the second uh, part of kit which includes the gesso and all the color glows. Uh, you can find it in the store as well. Uh, so you have to start with uh, priming clear gesso uh, because we will use some watercolors. So the paper must be primed really well. So please put a nice uh, thick layer of clear gesso and then you have to dry this uh, with heat gun or you can just leave it for uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes to dry. When your surface is dry, we can start to add some extra textures. Uh, we, in the kit, you will receive one uh, of the stencil. I will choose the stencil matching the collection. Uh, we've got two designs uh, which can be included in the kit. Uh, for the bigger frame, I'm using a Latted Snow uh, stencil with some modeling paste and uh, just uh, add some uh, nice design with modeling paste here and there. And while the um, paste is, is wet, you can still add some extra glitters or micro beads or something else for texture uh, on top of the, of the wet modeling paste. And uh, you don't have to like cover the whole frame the whole paper we just need a little bit of texture here and there and then you can add some extra uh, elements on top uh, the next step is to dry uh, dry the paste really well and everything will stick to it so now we are ready to start assembling all the elements uh, I cut all the paper elements before I start creating, so my proposition for you is to have some extra um, evening before you start creating and just fussy cut some elements. And then you can just uh, easily create all the product, projects. Uh, so I've got the window and some extra elements cut it from the papers and all the add-on papers. And uh, I'm using also a nice ornament chipboard here. So the paper elements, the window, I just stick with uh, 3D foam and for chipboards uh, you can use just a regular craft glue. For all different elements like mm, the, the leaves or uh, pine cones or any heavier or bigger elements, uh, I will probably use a heat gun and a hot glue because uh, for the workshop like this it's much easier for me. But uh, if you buy the second kit you've got gel medium so we can also use gel medium to stick all the elements uh, together. Uh, so for my main um, composition I'm using the window and uh, the lady uh, in a red jacket from the paper but my proposal for you is to use um, yeah, a photograph or a vintage photograph and uh, make this frame a nice gift for somebody for Christmas uh, but of course I'm just using a graphics uh, here uh, so you can also use the same graphic uh, but it would be really nice to have a, a nice matching photograph uh, you can also make a little bit bigger 
um, layout with a photograph and uh, put it in a bigger frame. Uh, just use a whole page uh, if you want to. So um, for now, I'm just using the graphics and I'm adding a little head. And then I'm just combining all the elements which uh, match the composition, which match the Christmas mood. So you've got plenty of nice things included in the kit. So you've got some uh, paper elements and uh, flowers and the uh, beads and the uh, stars and really plenty of goodies to use. And um, yeah, just start assembling everything. I'm just trying to focus uh, around the, the graphics and the window. Uh, so I'm trying to you know, match uh, things together and I'm just looking, oh, that's, that's look, uh, this looks really nice here. And then if I'm happy, I will just stick uh, the, the, the paper elements or other elements to the, to the paper, uh, to the background. So basically I'm trying to encourage you to play with all the elements. Uh, you don't have to like plan the whole composition, just you know, try, play around and see what kind of, uh, you know, elements are actually matching with what looks good, what does not look good. And then you just, if you're happy, just stick it with the glue or hot glue or gel medium, whatever you like. So all the um, creative process is about, uh, you know, having fun and trying to match all the elements together. The kit is really, really huge. So uh, for the both frames, you only use a little bit of product actually. And then you, you, can, you can actually create more elements, uh, albums, cards, whatever you like, and Christmas tags uh, for your gifts, whatever you like. Uh, as I said, the biggest uh, elements, uh, the heaviest elements, I will just uh, stick with the hot glue gun. And uh, this is the easiest way. Uh, but you know, if you are not sure where to put your elements, use gel medium because it's much easier to remove uh, the elements or, you know, to move them a little bit. With hot glue gun, you just have to be <laughs> like sure where to put your element. But, you know, I don't mind. I'm just playing around and I'm just using hot glue gun so make, uh, I can make this process a little bit faster. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just leaving you to watch how I'm assembling every single element. And then we will create a nice um, mixed media background. So we will add a little bit more. Um, basically... Uh, you can stop at any point. You can add less or more elements. Uh, I'm trying always to show you all I know. All my I will just I've been trying to share my knowledge. So my projects are quite you know um, rich in elements, rich in layers. I'm adding a lot of paper elements, I'm adding a lot of layers, and then I'm also adding some mediums. So you can try, you can, you know, learn from this uh, video as much um, as you want. But if you are more into clean and simple, or if you're not mixed media person, you can just uh, use some techniques and just leave the, the uh, artwork without adding some any mediums. It's also really nice without any mediums. But of course, the more you add, it will be more rich, more colorful, and more, you know, complicated, I would say. So uh, depending on how you're feeling about mixed media, just use the knowledge you like. <laughs>
Okay, so now we are happy with the composition. We can start to add some mediums. So let's start with gel medium. Uh, you've got the gel medium jar in the second kit, in the second part of this Christmas kit. So just uh, add some uh, gel medium around your composition. You can also add some gel medium on top of your flowers or pine cones or whatever you feel or you would like to add some extra texture because we will add some uh, extra elements uh, on the wet gel medium. Um, I mean glitters, I mean mica flakes, whatever you feel like you can add while gel medium is still wet. Uh, if you want, if you want, you can add some micro bits, but in the kit we've got this white nice mica flakes. They look like uh, snow, I would say, really little shiny, really delicate. And you can also you can also use this glitter, hologram glitter, which is really nice and shiny. And with a brush, you can just play around and just uh, make the texture look uh, the way you like. So you can just play a little bit or add a little bit more flakes on top of your pine cones and or flowers or whatever you feel like it will look good so just uh, with gel medium just stick all the all little glitters all the little elements you would like to add and uh, using acrylic ink which is the new uh, iridescent color it's just um, iridescent nice uh, acrylic glitter so when it's dry you only see the glitter you don't see this white acrylic uh, liquid just you you just see the glitter you can paint with it you can splash with it and it will give your project this extra shyness and uh, you can keep going or you can you know you can stop at any point and uh, in the second part of this uh, of this additional kit you also have three color gloves and uh, just by adding some water and then some uh, powder you can create a really nice background so we've got three colors in this kit and i'm using goldstone color glow uh, here so first i just put a little bit of water and then i'm, I'm just adding a little bit of uh, powder so it will look like really nice watercolor shiny watercolor uh, background you can mix colors you can add some green or a red i'm just using a uh, gold stone and emerald color color on this project uh, but just feel free to add as much as you like uh, we don't want to cover the whole paper but we want this extra depthness we want this extra color so that's what i'm after and as you can see color grows are really great products to use and they uh, are really you know uh, you don't have to add a lot they are really highly pigmented so you will just use it for many many projects uh, in the future so you just keep playing with the colors and you know all the colors as long as you're happy if you uh, add some water the color will be a little bit lighter and you can move your projects you know a project uh, a little bit just to make some nice drippings and just uh, you know the paint itself will be uh, working with water really nicely so just um, by adding some extra water and some extra powder you can achieve really nice uh, background nice nice effects uh, so just play as long as you are happy with uh, the result and uh, then you can add some extra elements because it is still wet. I've decided to add some extra hologram gold glitter uh, on top. If you don't have gel medium, you just uh, you can you know add a little bit more gel medium. Uh, this is just the glitter, so it uh, needs something sticky. Uh, so you can use crafty glue or you can use gel medium which is in the second uh, kit so if you feel like you want to add some extra uh, glitter or mica flakes somewhere else just uh, use some gel medium i'm using the big jar here and uh, you know i'm just painting a little bit of gel medium first and then i will add some extra um, beautiful gold glitter it is a really nice holographic effect and it's uh, it looks really cool all the you know shades of glitters uh, on this christmas project is just perfect
Okay, so we are ready to start the second project, but before we do it, I'm just using white gesso to uh, add some finishing touches to my first frame. So using dry brush and white gesso, you can just dry brush uh, on top of some layers and just blend some colors if you feel they are too dark. Before you do it, just make sure your project is completely dry uh, for the best results. Um, if it's not really dry, just be really careful. You can add a little bit of your pine cones or flowers, but for textures, I would recommend to dry your project completely. And then we'll use the same um, white gesso on the second uh, mini frame. Uh, I've got the paper which was already primed before with clear gesso. This is it is dry, so now uh, now I can. Uh, add a little, a little bit of white gesso because my paper, paper is really dark. I wanted to make it um, a little bit lighter, so I'm just I just applied some white gesso, add a little bit of water to dilute it, and it will it it will look really nice. I wanted some contrast for my color glows uh, on the dark paper. Maybe the color wouldn't be so. Um, you know, so vibrant. So for this effect, I will, I'm just using white gesso first. So the gesso is dried and now I can add some water and play with colors. So it's the same technique. Uh, randomly, I'm just, because it's the background, so I don't have to overthink it. I'm just adding a little bit of this red color glow, which is called Garner, and a tiny bit of pigment, and it works perfectly. It just reacts with water. And the second color I will be using it's goldstone again. So I'm just mixing uh, two shades of uh, color gloves on the background. And by adding some water and some pigment, I can actually get these nice results. And you can splash with your paintbrush on, and you can just play a little bit with colors, just randomly and just uh, dry it. You can dry it with your heat gun or you can just leave it to dry for some time. Uh, of course, I'm just drying it with, with the heat gun so I can speed up my process. Okay, so now uh, I dried my uh, frame and I can add some extra texture. I'm using the second uh, stencil uh, you can get. Uh, it is called Frozen. It's got really nice stars and I'm just applying some, um, some stencil design with modeling paste. And then I'm just adding some elements. I will not uh, add a lot because the frame is really tiny, as you can see. And uh, the background is already really nice, so I don't want to cover it. I want I want to be able to see the, the beautiful uh, background made with color glows. So I'm just adding the reindeer and some extra tiny elements. Uh, so it will look really nice with all the fussy cut uh, um, tiny branches and um, I'm adding extra title, a chipboard title this time because I wanted to have something, you know, thicker and uh, just the three tiny flowers maybe just to fill in all, you know, the, the gaps and uh, I'm, I just wanted to have this nice um, composition here and you can also add the really tiny, tiny berries and then we are done. We can also splash with uh, iridescent acrylic and it's ready. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you have learned some new tips and techniques and you can create really nice, beautiful projects with a 13 Arts Christmas kit. So thank you for so much for watching and you can go and grab your kit right now for this really special price and in 13 Arts Store. Thank you and have a really great and Merry Christmas everyone.